Okay, so now that we have installed and configured my HP Morpheus VM Essentials cluster means that I can deploy my first virtual machine. So let's take a look together how easy that is. I'm going to show you quickly. I did some pre-preparation work already by uploading in my library virtual images. I uploaded the Windows 2022 ISO file already because that's the one that I will be using during the deployment of my new virtual machine. One little advice in here is when you upload that ISO file, I advise you to go to the advanced section and here select the VM tools installed and the vert IO drivers loaded. So please put those two checkboxes because it avoids that you're going to have some strange behaviors when deploying a Windows virtual machine on top of a Linux KVM hypervisor. So once that you uploaded that ISO file, of course, it can be another operating system as well, of course. Then you go to provisioning instances. And there you see that I have already some uh, VMs deployed on my VMware and also on my um, VME cluster. So now I hit the add button and I'm going to select here, of course, my VME cluster where I want to create that new instance, deploy that new virtual machine. So first of all, I got to give it an instance name. Let's call it demo VM zero uh, one. You can optionally select here uh, the environment uh, where you want to uh, run it in. You can add some additional labels as well uh, for larger environments. I hit next. And the first thing that I need to select is the plan. Well, the plan, these are pre-created. You can create your own as well. Just to define how many resources for CPU and memory that you want to assign to that virtual machine. I'm going to run it in the VME cluster resource pool. And now I can select here my capacity. Let's say my uh, root drive needs to be 100 uh, gig. And maybe I want an additional data drive of 120 gig, something like that. Now you can leave normally here the auto uh, data store and then it will pick the one that has most of the capacity. Now for the demo, uh, I'm going to pick here uh, the NFS data. Uh, data store um, to deploy my virtual machine. You will see later on why. I select my compute uh, network that I created earlier. Um, and then of course here the image, I'm gonna select that Windows 2022 ISO image in here. Well, also here, it's not only on that Windows 2022 ISO file that you need to select those two checkboxes. Also here in the advanced options, I advise you to select here that attach vert IO drivers as well to be sure that you successfully can finish the installation of this Windows VM. Once that we've done that, you hit next. If you want to do some automation afterwards with some PowerShell or bash scripting, you can do that in here. And if you want to use the integrated backup solution at that moment, you can select here the KVM VM snapshot integration with a daily backup at midnight. And optionally, you might select here that synthetic full. So weekly on Sunday at midnight, there will be a synthetic full backup that will be created. You hit next and then complete. And then will the deployment start of my demo virtual machine. Now to follow the progress, you just click the demo VM01. You will see a progress bar here at the top, but here you can select as well the history uh, tab. And here now you can see the progress of the deployment of that virtual machine. And as you can see, it's even faster than two minutes. 
you will see all the sub steps as start virtual machine, the networking, then the templates, the automation that you might select as well. And so now you will see that this VM effectively is up and running. How can you see that? Well, I can go to the console and now you will see here that indeed my Windows installation is there. So I'm going to show you. Um, of course, you might recognize this from other environments. Since I'm uh, based in uh, Belgium, I'm going to select the Dutch uh, Belgian um, keyboard layout. Of course, you pick the one from your country. You select install now. But I want to highlight some gotchas that you need to be aware of. So I select the Windows 2022 desktop experience. Of course, I accept the terms, license and agreements. And then you will get to this point. And this is a very important one. Because now, by default, it doesn't recognize the storage controller in that virtual machine and so my drives are not there and what you need to do is you need to select that load driver i click ok and so now i can select here the correct storage or the the, the vert io scuzzy controller driver that i will need uh, to use in here well very important here if you didn't select that checkbox earlier remember yeah, attach vert IO drivers. If you didn't do that one, well, at that moment you're stuck with the installation. So that's why it's a very important advice uh, when creating that virtual machine. Please check that checkbox of attach vert IO drivers. I'm deploying Windows 2022. I hit next now, and now you will see that uh, that drive that I uh, created. Uh, when creating that uh, virtual machine. Um, now you will see that that 100 and that 120 gig data drive is there. I'm going to select the first one in here to install my operating system. And now I let finish the Windows installation. There you go. Let's wait for the Windows virtual machine to boot up for the first time. And then it will ask for a password. There you go. Now, once that we have deployed that virtual machine, of course, very similar to what we do in the VMware environment is that you have to deploy those virtual tools. Now, with a Linux KVM based environment, which is HP VM Essentials, there are two things that you need to do. So remember back again when creating that VM where you selected that attach vert IO drivers. Well, also here, it makes your life easier because now you will see that, first of all, the installation ISO file was mounted, but also the vert IO driver ISO is automatically mounted for you. You don't have to do it manual. And now to finish the installation, there are two things that you need to install. First of all, the Vertio WinGT X64 file, and then finally the guest tools. So let's finish quickly the installation of both. Yes, there is my network driver. And then finally do also the guest tools. And there you go.
well at that moment that's it so at this moment now my windows virtual machine is deployed and you can start using it now one advice here is of course once that you deployed your virtual machine you might decide to import it as an image because at that moment that image might be used of course after running uh, sysprep um, import it as an image so that you can use this windows vm as a template for future other deployments this ends the deployment of this windows vm on vm essentials